Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial on how to monitor switches and routers with Nagios XI. Nagios XI uses SNMP to monitor switches and routers, but the good news is you don't need to know much at all about SNMP to monitor switches and routers with XI. All you need to know is the authorization information for accessing the device, like the community string or the v3 username. Let's see how it works. From the home page, hover over Configure, then click on Configuration Wizards. Click the Network icon to focus on networking wizards, then click on the Network Switch Router Wizard. On step one of the wizard, some information is required and some is optional. The requirements include entering the IP address or fully qualified domain name, and then entering the SNMP authentication information. In this example, we're going to use SNMP v2c, so all we need is the community string, but if you would like to use SNMP v3, you will see that you can choose your security level and add the required information. Now let's talk about the optional information in step one. The monitor using dropdown lets you choose how the port is identified and displayed in XI using the port number, name, or description. Bolt configuration allows you to configure monitoring for multiple similar switches or routers. Every device you list here in this section needs to have the same number of ports and the same bandwidth per port as the device used in the section above. If a device you are adding through bulk configuration has a hostname you want to specify, or a community string that is different than the one supplied above, add those in as comma-separated values. Note that if you are monitoring by SNMP v3, you will be able to specify more fields for devices that have v3 auth and priv values that differ from those given above. The default values allow you to set warning and critical thresholds for alerting. They are set at 50 and 80 and are configurable. Click Next to get to Step 2. In between Steps 1 and 2, Nagios XI is running a scan on the device to discover its ports and settings. Once you get to Step 2, you can see all of the ports being monitored. If you uncheck the box on the left, that tells Nagios XI not to monitor that port. You can change the service description if you like, you can uncheck the bandwidth box to skip monitoring bandwidth on a port, or uncheck the status box to skip checking up-down on a port. You can adjust thresholds per port as needed. Keep in mind though, if you are using the bulk configuration option in step one, the changes you make in step two will apply to all the devices you include in your list, so configure wisely. Click next, then finish, then check your work back in the home screen. That's all it takes to monitor switches and routers in Nagios XI. Stay tuned for more great SNMP monitoring videos. Download Nagios XI from the link in the description below and you'll be monitoring in no time.